this. And we, uh, we, we, uh, what we do here uh, to is to add our router. So in the static folder, we will have a lot of subfolder like image, uh, bootstrap, uh, bootstrap folder, JS folder, JavaScript folder, and so on, and so on. So we want to our application to to see them and. Uh, find them and we don't have when we specify in our HTML like uh, the source of our file we don't have to give all the file all the, the all the, the absolute path of our uh, uh, resource so we're gonna let's let's say let's say, let's say like we have here a, a subfolder which is for example image which will contain all our image and uh, this is just the uh, static file so another folder which is js for example js and uh, another folder css you can use whatever i use css here css what else so what we do is image then we specify the the uh, then what we need to do is CSS for example CSS Uh, then what we need to do here is uh, what we need to do here is then what was we have js js and now we added the, all the the subfolder of our our uh, our uh, or static file so we, ne we need to add uh, another thing another method that tell where where those subfolder are the the absolute path add resource location so we specify the the, uh, the resource location with the with this this puts so we don't get the get the error where where we have the resource location we specify the class class path class path and we do and uh, all uh, all the all those all those we have them in the static 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 Styles, static folder. So that's all we need to do to do to do for now. And uh, there's our images. And uh, and uh, what else we need to do? Let's just copy and pass. Copy and paste, and this we need to put a semicolon here so we don't get the CSS. This one, JS. So what we do is to we try to to uh, to specify our subfolder of the static. Then we give the 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 absolute path here in the method at resource location so that's what basically we will we do so we are done with this and uh, what else we need to to to, to do is uh, 
another let's add add interceptor we will be adding uh, this one add configure defaults so to just configure our default override public public we override this and we make it final too Bracket closing bracket. So we just enable. We have the the default service handler configure. All we need to do is just enable it. Enable it. Sorry for my English. It's not that good. And we just enable it. That's it. And uh, what we need to add here, we need to add an interceptor. Override. Override the interceptor. We see add formatter, add resource handler, add, uh, add course mapping, configure resolver, add argument resolver, add re where is the ans our interceptor, git validator. Uh, there is a lot of add course mapping, add resource handler. Add interceptor, this one. So this interface contains a lot of a lot of uh, method that we can override here to to use. So what we do is uh, make it the this final as always final sense we are not gonna change anything so we need another final local local see local local change it's called local change interceptor yes local change interceptor and local change interceptor interceptor and you basically gonna new local Local change interceptor. Let's translate that variable, that class, sorry, and we add this interceptor to our registry. Registry, add, add interceptor, and we we add this in local change interceptor so that's all the configuration we have to do now so hopefully this work we will try to run the uh, rerun the project and see what will happen refresh and do a run a spring boot and we'll see we have the example no it's a 
example not example yes this is wrong we need to rename it example so my dad in here let's add something here like uh, each one uh, welcome come to our first view and we save the change and we re refresh then run a spring boot again So the application started, so localhost, what I'm using here is localhost 8081 and example, example, dot html, hopefully it's work, uh, there is an error, what we have there? What we have here, what's the error? Errors of a tem template. Template no not exist. Error the accessible or any configure, configured uh, template reserver. So I'm gonna. Sorry, I had uh, some problem here. Remember the the theme leaf configuration we put here. There's something was wrong, and it was causing the application the the, the, the main problem. We couldn't see our view. We couldn't render our view. So uh, here we go. Uh, I just delete that because we we are gonna configure. Theme leaf, tem tem uh, theme leaf just the way we configured the uh, Spring MVC with uh, Java, so there is no need to put it here. And uh, let's see now if we can uh, run our application. So I'm gonna go here, put the URL, our view is example, HTML, hit, and we get our view. So you see, we don't have any control whatsoever here. All we have is the 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 the, 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 the configuration class. We enable the the configuration here, and this specify that this class is a uh, is for configuration. We enable the MVC here, and we every time we put we add uh, some other view, we add something here. We add the name here, and we can, we, uh, we can even set the name here. We will see why we need this in our control to return this instead of this. So if we are going to implement a control or, or something, so. Thank you guys, uh, see you next time, uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video.